The Phoenicia ship in Iowa connects 600 years before Christ to the Old World. Today we found an interesting link on the web. On December 13, 2013, this small gray jasper scaraboid was sold from a private collection at Christie's for $93,750. We are pleased to bring to your attention the report from the auction house that describes the button-sized artifact with a cut image of the Phoenicia ship replica we are restoring in Montrose. We see a clear connection between the ship image found on the gray jasper stone and the 65-foot, 30-ton Phoenicia ship coming together in a warehouse across the Mississippi River from the Nauvoo Temple. We offer the statement from Christie's Auction House that gives some background on the piece sold in auction nine years ago. We are grateful for this independent confirmation. Begin quote. This seal is extraordinary for both its inscription and its pictorial device. The presence of a realistic rendering of a ship on such a seal is the only one known of its kind. The inclusion of the ship portrayed with such detail has provided a testament for Israelite shipbuilding of the 7th century before Christ, in this case, likely a merchant's ship. According to Avigat, the Hebrew people of this period were not seafarers, as the Phoenicians and Philistines controlled the waters. Avigat cites biblical references to show how the northern kingdom of Israel became more experienced in shipbuilding than the more southern kingdom of Judah as a result of the traditional cooperation with the Phoenicians, housing harbors at Dor and Jaffa. The name of the owner of this seal, Waniahu, has dual meanings, deriving from the word for strength as well as the word for ship, placed together with the personal name of the God of Israel, Yahweh. Therefore it can be interpreted as Yahweh is my strength or Yahweh is my ship slash the ship of Yahweh. It is possible that the owner of the seal was from a family of ship owners, using this pictorial rebus as a heraldic design for the seal. Avigat informs that few other Hebrew seals have been found with emblems relating to the name of the owner, including one with a locust and one with a bird. The iconography of the ship on this seal was used by the State of Israel in 1985 for a commemorative shekel coin. End quote. We marvel how each day we find additional validation for restoring the Phoenicia. We invite you to see how an ancient ship replica in Iowa shows how 2,600 years ago the old world connected to the new world. We are pleased to note that many people worldwide follow what we do. We have friends in Europe, the Middle East, and North Africa who are familiar with what Captain Philip Beale did when he sailed 30,000 miles on some of the world's most turbulent waters around Africa and across the Atlantic. This very ship is now coming together for all to see and enjoy. Come to Iowa. Bring your friends and family. Let them know what we are doing to bring to light more knowledge of America's ancient history.